Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Ninur Ashikin binti Rajdolah, MA19107. So our group, which is Group 2, will be presenting the Engineering Fluid Mechanics Lab that we have done last week. So I'm going to present the introduction part. So Bernoulli's principle states that when the speed of fluid is increased, pressure will be decreased. Then how Bernoulli's principle explain about the relation between the flow velocity and the pressure of the fluid. So the speed of flow is increased during narrow section in a pipe or tube. It involves the pressure, velocity and also elevation of the fluid. The derivation of Bernoulli's equation is an approximation of the relation between these parameters. And this situation also can be referred as Bernoulli effect. Next, the problem statement in our experiment is we are going to investigate the variation of total pressure heat, static heat, and also dynamic heat. In this experiment, water is at the constant heat flow through horizontal streamline with different cross section. Next. The objectives of our experiment is we should be able to set up the apparatus according to the given lab sheet and we also should be able to record the static heat and pitted total heat respectively. And lastly, we should be able to use Bernoulli's equation to calculate the data needed and the scopes or limitation in this experiment there might be leaking on tube during the experiment and there might be friction on the tube inner surface. This friction resistance somehow will affect the fluid pressure. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Noor Shafiqah Binti Adira. My ID is MA19094. I would like to continue the presentation which is the theory about the Bernoulli. Bernoulli principle mechanical energy of flowing fluid that includes the gravitational potential energy of elevation, fluid, fluid pressure energy and fluid motion energy is constant. Bernoulli equation is a relation between pressure, velocity and elevation. When in compressible flow, uh, the net frictional force are negligible. Bernoulli equation cannot be applied everywhere in a flow, no matter how small the fluid viscosity. Compressible flow. During flow, a compressible fluid density can fluctuate, but an incompressible fluid density does not change. Shear force on a incompressible fluid caused by viscosity or external body force do not generate change in density during flow according to material mechanics. Incompressible flow. Incompressible flow is when density is constant. The flow is incompressible is one of the approximation used in the derivation of the Bernoulli equation. The max number less than roughly 0.3 Liquids and gases satisfy the criterion because compressibility effect and consequently density fluctuation in gases are minimal at such low speeds. Um, let's talk about Bernoulli equation derivation. This is the integration of the Bernoulli for the compressible flow when density equal to constant. The incompressible Bernoulli equation is derived assuming incompressible flow and thus it should not be used for flows with significant compressibility effect when a section of the flow is irrotational and there is no vorticity in the flow fluid. The value of the constant remains the same for all streamlines and the Bernoulli equation applies to all streamlines. Um, that's all about the story of the Bernoulli. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Rosdarila Ben Chiramli and my ID is uh, MA19101. So I responsible to present the next part of this experiment, the parts are method and procedure. 
So in this uh, experiment, that is Bernoulli experiment, so this is the apparatus. So this is the whole apparatus that we are needed to do this experiment. So the next is the part uh, in this Bernoulli experiment apparatus. So the first one is an uh, the first one is supply tank. So this is the supply tank. The second one is the piezometer, as known as the transference tubes. So the third one is delivery tank. So the, the outlet. So water will flow through it uh, to the next step. So this is the measuring tank, and so on. So we will uh, look for the procedure that are needed to follow to uh, do to do this uh, experiment so the first one is um, we will open the inlet valve on the supply tank so this is the supply tank so we will open the uh, inlet valve so we will allow the water to flow from the supply tank to the receiving tank uh, through a damper uh, incline pipe so next is we will adjust the flow using an outlet valve to make the heat constants in the supply tank so this is the supply tank so at the constant heat uh, we will uh, heat causing uh, for inflow and outflow are equal so next is after we adjusting the flow we will um, note down the reading of the water uh, of each level of the piezometer so this is the piezometer so we will consider the pressure head at different point of a uh, tempered tube so next is we will uh, compute the cross area cross section area pipe uh, at point where piezometer are located so this is uh, piezometer so now take the uh, stopwatch and measure the height of water collected for a particular time interval so we will record uh, time using stopwatch and then we will note down the reading the measuring tank dimension so this is the measuring tank so also we note down the all the different dimension and the last part is we repeat the same procedure uh, from different discharge for at least two or more times uh, depending on size of the tank so i think that's all from this part i will let my friend present the next part of this experiment i think that's all thank you Uh, in this 
this point uh, for head total this is point and the blue color is for head dynamic measure this is point and the last one is the orange color for point head dynamic completed this is point and the second graph is for velocity measured and calculated this is point uh, for this uh, graph, we need to calculate the velocity measure, which is uh, square root 2g times head dynamic measure, and which is 2 gravity 2 times 9.81 times the head dynamic measure, which is uh, 0 0.01 from from the previous point, and then. Uh, we will take the answer and then we put it in the uh, graph and apply to the all points here. And then we need to calculate the velocity calculator. The velocity calculator, the formula is Q over A. Uh, the Q is uh, 0.00022773 over uh, A. How we get A is from pi R squared. So R is given, which is 0 0.0142 squared, and then we times by pi, and we get the answer. And then we apply it in this uh, velocity calculated formula, and then we get the answer. And we we apply for the uh, six points, and we get this table. And then we plot the graph, which is the blue one here, is for velocity measured versus a point, and the orange one is for velocity calculated versus point. The last graph, I'm going to take the graph here and we got graph for <coughs> graph. For graph 3, we got the graph measure, dynamic measure and calculated versus point. This is we need to calculate the pain dynamic measure and pressure dynamic calculated. Pressure dynamic calculated, uh, we get from rho g times head dynamic calculated. Which is 997 uh, times by the gravity 9.81 and times by the head dynamic which is 0 0.0065588883 and we got the answer which is 64.1496174 the Pascal and the pressure dynamic measure we get rho g times by times by the head dynamic measure which is 997 uh, for rho and times with the gravity which is 9.81 and times with the head dynamic measure 0 0.01 so we get the answer and we apply in this uh, in this all point uh, with the different head dynamic measure that we calculate just now and then we plot the graph the graph for uh, measure dynamic measure is uh, show for with the graph with a blue color and for measure uh, dynamic calculated graph uh, present by orange graph so we go next we go for the discussion which is the discussion one we talk about uh, the difference between a uh, V measure and V calculated. So why? Why is there uh, a difference between V measure and V calculated? So uh, it actually uh, there is a little difference between observed and estimated velocities uh, because uh, because of the total heat in the parts. Uh, the total heat actually cause the resistance, and this is due to the fact that in actual life the friction causes losses in parts and the other factors that distinguish the measure and compute velocities include parallax error, systematic error and random error. So for discussion 2, we, the question is what conclusion can be made of the variation of static heat and dynamic heat throughout the six position according uh, to the vehicle at those position. So, for this question, we can see that from uh, graph 2, which is for uh, velocity measured 
and velocity alternative there is uh, actually well as a graph of dynamic pressure measured versus dynamic pressure calculated so it can be observed that the graph are similar this is the uh, this uh, two graph is similar but uh, the peaks are not this is because the theory and the actual are not the same since the real can be influenced by the variety of factors uh, for the next uh, question, which is uh, the discussion three, uh, what conclusion that can we make from the finding of static heat and dynamic heat in the opposite of the token heat? So, um, for this answer, we uh, refer to the graph one, which is graph for total heat, heat dynamic calculated, heat dynamic measured versus point. So uh, the graph is actually the uh, this, uh, actually the line for heat total was uh, rapidly rapidly decreased and then uh, it increases as uh, can be seen in the graph. Uh, so in the case of the heat dynamic measure, the line as it a uh, fast growing form followed by a point decrease. The calculated heat dynamic line reveals that the type is the same as the dynamic measure but the peak is slightly lower than the peak heat dynamic measure. So uh, that's all from me. Then I pass it to the, to the next uh, presenter to conclude this uh, experiment. Thank you. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Badrul Amin bin Razak and my metric number is MA19082. Okay, now I will present about conclusion for this experiment. Uh, the relationship between the static heat and the dynamic heat exists according to Bernoulli's equation in this experiment which the measurement of the static heat. As a result, the objective of this experiment are justified. There are several measures to be aware of in order to avoid errors when collecting data from this experiment. Okay, next uh, reference, There's, there are three reference that we use for theory for the Bernoulli principle, incompressible flow and compressible flow and also for Bernoulli equation. Okay, I think that's all from our group. Thank you.